Hi guys, and welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to te be teaching you a little bit about teleports and how to teleport from one place to another within a game. So the places have to be part of the game, but they can be really, really different places, one from another. So let me show you. Right now, I'm traveling through this portal. It's taken to a different world, which in reality is just another place. Because it's very large, it takes a little while for it to teleport. But as you can see, we teleported to a very, very different world. The lobby might look the same, but the world is a totally different place with um, you'll see different people in the, in the leader stance, you'll see different things going on all around. You'll have different gravity, different, uh, different things. But it's all part of the same game. So let me go ahead and teach you how to do this for yourself. So for this video, I will teach you how to use a part to, to cause a player to teleport from one place to another. Keep in mind, they all have to be part of the same game, but you can have many places within a game to teleport to and from and have different things like different atmosphere, different gravity, different uh, players that you can see playing actively. So you can have all that within the same game. So let me go ahead and show you how. Firstly, we need a part. Okay, so in this case, it is just a simple part that is transparent. Okay, it's a simple block. I have caused it, I've removed collision so players can pass through it, but the key is when the part is touched by the player, then the teleport is activated and within seconds, it could be, it could be one second, it could be 20 seconds, just depending how big the other place is, the player will be teleported. Sometimes it can be more, just depends on how big, I make big worlds, so it takes a little bit longer than normal. So here is how it is done. With under the portal, so a child of the portal will be the teleport script. And here it is. Let me explain it to you. It's a very simple script. We only have um, a few elements here. But the core that we need is a variable that contains the ID of the place you're trying to teleport to. So in this case, this world, okay, this place, the ID of it, is this and we have it in this variable okay local place ID equals this so you would put in your uh, place ID right here that you want them to teleport to so essentially what we have next is a function okay and we have a function that um, that triggers when a player touches the part okay so the script does its work when the player touches the part okay so it, it, it calls the teleport service okay and teleports the player to the new place all right very simple you guys can use this script just uh, copy it the only thing you really need to change is this number here put your place id in here make sure that the teleport is a child of the part that will teleport so the player can touch it they don't have to pass through it they just need to touch it but you can have it to where it's a portal that they pass through, so you remove collisions. The player passes through, and they teleport. Or it could just be that they touch it, they just bump into it, and they'll still teleport. So remember, if the place is really big, it'll take longer, so be patient. Give it a moment to do it. If the place is small, it should be rather instant. So, as you saw in the intro of the video, um, it causes me to be able to teleport from place to place, or in my game, it's a world to a world. Um, very different places, very different atmosphere, everything is kind of different. So that's why I have separate places, um, very different portals, very different worlds. All right, guys, so that's it. I encourage you to subscribe. I do developer tutorials. I do gameplay videos, reviews. Uh, we just did the hunt. That was really cool. We streamed that to get that uh, awesome UGC. All right, guys, I wish you guys a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.